They lag whenever it comes. Then we have Insta Crush All. Just make all the yappers stop talking, you know? Hi everybody, welcome to another video, and today, I'll be right showcasing the Shiba GT Gold Mod Menu V21. Now, this mod menu is brand new, it has Instant Crash, Working Antibad, and the brand new update, and everything. So yeah, let's get right into it. Please subscribe as I'm trying to get to 30,000 subscribers by the end of March. It is April! <laughs> Please subscribe as I'm trying to get to 30,000 subscribers by the end of April. Let's get right into the review. Alright, so the first thing we have is settings. Basically, this is where you can make the entire menu your own. So, we have save preferences, player gun lock, so whenever I shoot it at a player, shoot a gun at a player, it basically makes them, like, it locks the gun on them. Turn off notifications, it turns off those little notifications. Menu layout, so the basic is this, where the buttons are up here. Then we have left hand menu, basically makes the menu so you can use it on the left hand. And then we have the anti-report setting, we have leave and server hot. So, pretty self-explanatory. Then we have placeholder and a bunch of remove stuff. Then you can change the time of day, so you can make it day, dawn, night, or untouched. Um, I'm gonna set it as night because it's easier. We have turn off leaves. This does not work in the recent update, but it works in most updates. Then we have make platforms sticky. It basically makes your platform sticky. Platforms type normal, invis, trigger normal. Then we have make crash mods not TP. This currently does not need to be turned on or anything. Then we have ESP color tagged or their color code. I like color code. Tracer's color, tag your color code, I'm gonna do color code. Tracer's position, so you can do right hand, left hand, head, body. Then we have what speed boost I'm using, so currently I'm using Mosa, Super, and then effing and thing. Then we have first person camera, basically what you're seeing right now. This also works for Yeezy and everything, so pretty good. Crash power, does not do anything because I've removed that. Then we have menu theme first color, menu theme first color, so the default is this theme right here, I believe. Now basically, what the menu theme first color does, um, you can also do it from just clicking from here. Basically, when you click it, it changes the first color that it fades to. You can do blue, green, white, magenta, cyan, gray, red, yellow, and, you know, black. Then we have menu theme second color, which is purple, blue, green, white, magenta, cyan, black, red, yellow, uh, and yeah, that's it. Me personally, I do like the black one the most, because I like it just seen like this. Then we have menu theme button color, so we have same as menu, blue, green, white, uh, that's magenta, cyan, gray, red, and same as menu. Then we have menu theme text on color, so whenever a menu a mod is enabled, the text changes, not the button. So, I have it as red, but you can do all those colors, same with the text off. Then we have make menu theme RGB, so we gotta switch pages. As you can see, it is now RGB. Um, it is not working with the buttons currently, but it doesn't really matter. And then, yeah, that's the end of that, so save. Then we have OP mods, we're going to do that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Favorite mods, basically you can set your own favorite mod by clicking on a random mod, clicking both of your bottom buttons, and then it adds it to your favorite mods. Then you can go to favorite mods, and it would be there, but I kind of broke it, and now I gotta reboot my game. So <laughs> give me. Then we have save and enable buttons. When I, what buttons I have enabled when I click this, whenever I boot up the menu again, they'll automatically be enabled again. Then we have rejoin last lobby. Basically, any lobby that I join. So for example, if I leave this lobby right now, wait a few seconds for everything to settle down, and then I click rejoin last lobby, I should join back into the same lobby that me and Goober were just in. As you can see, I'm back here. And then we have server hop. Basically, it makes this so I server hop into a random public code. Um, no fingers. As you can see, I'm clicking all my triggers. As you can see, I'm doing my menu. Nothing's working. Then I have anti-moderator. Basically, if any moderator joins the server, then it just, you know, they, I, I leave. Disable mouth movement. As you can see, I currently have this on, and that's why my mouth is so stiff. But if I turn this off, as you can see, now you can finally see me talk. Uh, ghost when in menu, whenever I open up the menu, I am in ghost monkey. So like, basically I can just do this, and I'm currently in the menu, and go back to normal. Then, we have platforms. You can edit these in settings, normal little platforms. Ghost monkey, normal little ghost monkey. Invis. Freeze. So basically it just freezes my entire rig, so I can move around. Rig gun, wherever I shoot it, my rig goes. Hold rig. I can hold it with either of my hands. Look at closest player. So I'm currently looking at Goober. But it doesn't show in VR unless I do this. But it works whenever I'm in VR like this. Um, just doesn't show on your end. Then we have Spaz Monkey. I spaz out. Head spin. Nice. Head roll. Head backwards and head upside down. Then we have T pose. It makes you T pose. 
Beyblade, if you become a Beyblade. Bees, basically, I hold down grip, and I use, I, I will go to a random player, go on top of them. Lucy Gun, whoever I shoot it with, I become Lucy, and uh, I chase them. And then we have Lucy Random, the ran a random player, which he's the only player in the game. Solid Monkey, and he touch you. I can basically climb on top of him. I'm just on top of you. Copy Gun, whoever I shoot it with, I copy. Copy closest, simple. Uh, clear all notifications. Basically, it just makes it so it clears all the notifications. Bypass agreements. If there was agreements right there, it would bypass all of them. Grab bug. It makes me grab the bug. It's kind of weird, though. It doesn't seem to be working. Then we have bug gun. Wherever I shoot it, bug goes there. Bug halo. I have halo of the bug. Give bug gun. So whenever, whoever I shoot it at, let's see, gives him the bug. Bug seizure. Makes him have a literal seizure. And, uh, funny. No gravity, as you can see. No gravity. Pretty sigma, pretty sigma. Low gravity. I have very low gravity. High gravity. Very high gravity. Reverse gravity makes me go up. Um, gravity wind, which chooses a random gravity to go to every few seconds. Then we have gravity switcher. So whenever I click this grip, I can change my gravity to normal, up, left, right. You can also use your other ones like backtrace. No clip. Go, go inside of trees and stuff. Fly, your normal little fly. Sugar fly. Then we have bark fly, my favorite mod. Basically, you can, you can move with this joystick, moves like your, your actual position. This one goes up and down. Then I have iron monkey. So basically, it's just iron monkey. Speed boost, that's my favorite. Slingshot fly. Uh, how do I use this again? <laughs> All right. And then, as you can see, just normal little slingshot fly. Banana car. Good old normal banana car. Fake Oculus menu, so when I click on B, it freezes my hands. All you gotta do is put them right here, not move. TP gun, wherever I shoot it, I go there. TP to random, I TP to a random player. Spider monkey, it's just your normal little spider monkey. Steam long arms, normal arm length, steam arms on length. Really long arms, gives me really, arm lo really long arms. Primary leave, whenever I click my primary, I leave the game. Answer report, whenever someone gets close to reporting me, uh, I leave, don't, damn it, don't, damn it. Then we have hide name on leaderboard. Basically, whenever someone joins or leaves when I have this on, my name on the leaderboard is going to be different than the name I have on my rig. They have disguised, disguises me as a random player. As of now, I am now mouse, and I am now a blue color code. Click it again. I am now green, and my name is now baguette. Splash mod, put a little splash mod, splash gun, splash aura, splash the name that's near me. Left water bending. Right water bending. Sizable splash. And just size it down. So, tag gun. Whenever I shoot them. Oh, I'm I forgot I'm rock monkey. It doesn't work during rock monkey, but it does work very well if it's infection. Uh, but tag on tags, tag all, tag aura, tag self, empty tag, and no tag on self. Hunt tag gun, all these hunt mods, very also very self-explanatory. Punch mod, punch me. Okay, you're not. Um, then we have wall walk. Very weak, but very good. Loud hand taps. Silent hand taps. No hot, no hand taps. No hand tap cooldown. No hand tap cooldown. Metal spam. Crystal spam. Each crystal spam. AK. E rape. Random. Sound spam random, which is master one. Then we have ESP, as you can see. Nice, good old clean ESP that goes past them. And apparently it's rainbow. Then we have beacons, just normal little beacons. Bone ESP, basically shows their bones. Tracers, set it to my left hand setting. Modder tracers, tracers to only modders. Uh, strobe, so if I go and stump, so strobe. Uh, he can see me switching colors, but for some reason this one's buggy. Then we have RGB, just rainbow. Then we have kill all battle, kill gun, a silent aim, and pop on pop all balloons. All very simple. Juggle cosmetics. It makes me juggle all of my cosmetics. 60 hertz. It gives me 60 hertz. I think it makes me very laggy. Set game mode to battle. So we just gotta wait a little bit. To break it. Set game mode to infection. Set game mode to hunt. Oh, in this server it isn't working. Yeah, sometimes private servers don't work with this, but public servers do. I have a video in the server, in the in the in the channel for it. Vibrate gun. Whoever I shoot with, their hands vibrate. Vibrate all. Slow gun. Move around. Slow. Slow. Matt, spam all. Spam gun. 
uh, blind gun. So for all these new mods right here, we gotta go inside a cloud. So come on, let's go. What? What's going on? Why is the? Why is there a cloud here? There's a cloud, dude. Blind gun doesn't work. Blind all, as you can see. It just blinds everyone. Uh, whatever. Glider spaz. Oh, what? Glider spaz out. Glider halo. Uh, make some halo. Um, I don't know why glider gun isn't working. I think I know what they mean by gun mod. Okay, that wait, there we go. I think gun mods just don't work for some people, including me. As you can see, whenever I shoot, uh, shoot the glider gun, as you can see, it moves every single glider to that one place. Demonic hands. Particle all. Particle gun. Particle around map. Not for this map right now, but only for stores and city. Particle around me. Particles around me. Particle around player gun. Particles around you. Uh, and then we have the OP mod. Now, I'm going to do all of these inside of a public lobby. Just to show that it's all undetected. Basically, first one you have is anti-ban. Uh, as you see, it turns on anti-ban. Nice little, little anti-ban. Anti band status, so it tells you if it's anti enabled. Set master, set master, auto set master. So whenever I enable anti band, right when it enables, it does the whole set master. New mod checkers. So gold actually has a mod checker in it, and what this does to all mod checkers, and it makes this to every single player. Then we have uh, disable network triggers. Uh, I, I cannot use this with anti band, but it's kind of annoying to show. Yo, everyone, come here. I want to show you a new glitch. You can go inside a city now. Yeah, well, like, actually. No, I don't. How? Look, you can walk in here. No, I, do I, I, I swear to God, you can walk in here. You're going to make me get deleted. Watch. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely getting deleted, aren't you? Come on. Let's go. Right the All right, now the next one is Trap Stump. Okay, well, Trap Stump doesn't work. I didn't know that that broke. Okay. Uh, lag all and lag gun, both fully useful. I'm um, they're useless. Then we have name change all. So for this, I need to turn on anti ban and set master. Name change all. Assign the thing to change the name inside the GUI. I type in the name I want to set them to. Submit. And now every single person name. Will change. It works the same way. With gun. So that one person's name. Change the name master. Uh, then we have instant crash gun. So whoever I shoot with, as you see, they crash. As you see, they appear. They crash. Uh, instant crash or anyone that's near me gets crashed. Be funny. Instant crash on touch. When they touch me. Instant crash on you touch. If I touch them, they lag whenever I touch them. Then we have instant crash all. Just make all the yappers stop talking, you know? And as you can see, they do not- they cannot move while they're like this. Because when I turn it off, they would usually be moved around. As you can see, he's not. So, that's pretty funny. Then we have break server side. Basically what that does is it makes this so whenever new players join, they can't tag anyone, can't do anything. Um, and they have no hats. So, that's pretty funny. Then we have break audio gun, break audio all, kind of mid, and you need to be close to them. Destroy all and destroy gun. Whenever a new player joins and uh, you've done destroy mods in that server before, uh, anyone that you did destroy gun on or destroy all, the player, the new players that joined cannot see them. It also bugs out most mods. But yeah, that's, that's literally the entire mod menu. Thank you guys so much for watching. The download is in the description. It is $15. Hopefully that's not an incentive to go away. But this, just keep in mind, this is the only menu that has a working anti-ban and working crash. So you're going to be missing out if you don't buy this. So yeah, please subscribe and goodbye.